I want to review the movie Jarhead, which was released in 2005. It's the third movie directed by Sam Mendes, following American Beauty and The Road to Perdition. It stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Peter Sarsgaard, with supporting roles from Jamie Foxx, Chris Cooper and Dennis Naisbert. The film follows the life of Anthony Swabbard, who enlists in the Marines and ends up in the Gulf War following Americans' decision to liberate Kuwait after Saddam Hussein's decision to reoccupy Kuwait. Uh, that historically was part of Iraq. Less of the politics. Mendes focuses on the military training to start that the new recruits experience. We see the hijinks of initiation ceremonies, the camaraderie, and how jarhead is a slang term for marine, meaning empty vessel. Mendes uses images from you from Vietnam used to entertain the rookies and Lieutenant Colonel Kaczynski played by Chris Cooper strikes as comical and crazy as Kilroy did in the movie Apocalypse Now. This movie unfortunately isn't as powerful or intense as Coppola's film but it does tell its own story. The main message that I got from this film was that the Gulf War in 1990 was so short it became a victory from the air with the enemy targeted and eliminated with state-of-the-art technology. Consequently troops that were sent to the reason in most cases hardly fired a shot. This led to many marines having different psychological problems as they mopped up literally in the desert as it rained oil. The wells burnt out of control as they viewed the wreckage and carnage. Mainly on foot, they followed the mass retreat by the Iraqi army, sometimes expecting combat but ending up going mad with boredom. So what else? Well, we have a powerful performance by Gyllenhaal, his paranoia about the girlfriend at home, his nightmare about drowning in sand, but we hardly get to know him and that sums up all of the characters in the movie. It's the place where they are that hits you. The smog of sand, the burning oil field and the boredom. War is not exciting. It's not an action movie where the good guys always win. The return home is greeted by a victory parade but feels like a lie and a Vietnam vet boards their bus to thank them. You sense they all feel fake and a traumatic e event sees out the film. Different war but the same amount of psychological damage done.